Hey guys, this is Mr. 13 with you with an updated and revised version of my spray tutorial I made a while back. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to get almost any image file usable as a spray in almost any Source Engine game, like Left 4 Dead 1, Left 4 Dead 2, Counter Strike Source, and Half Life 2 Deathmatch. Um, if you've gotten errors while trying to import a spray uh, that could look like this, or like this, then this tutorial is also going to show you how to fix those. Um, also, at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to tack on a little bonus tutorial as to how to get an animated spray to work um, using a .gif image, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, the first program you need to download, well, the only program you need to download for a picture file is VTF Edit. The download link is in the description, and once you download that and install it, start it up you're gonna see this little navigation window on the left you go to wherever your picture is saved through here I'm going to mine right now and when you find the one you want you just double click on it and you'll come up to this normally this options menu is set just fine at default um, you don't need to change anything so just hit OK your picture is gonna show up right here on the right and then you go to file save as and uh, when you save it it's going to save it as a VTF file, which is what we want, and that's what's going to fix the error messages and make it usable as a spray. I also want to point out in your game directory for your Source Engine game, in this case I'm in Left 4 Dead 2 right now, go to your Materials folder, VGUI, and then there is a Logos folder. Now this Logos folder is for all your sprays. When you get a working spray, the game automatically copies it right into this folder. It's a great spot just to save all your sprays. It's like two or three clicks in game just to swap them out, and uh, it's really easy. So, this is where I save all my sprays. Um, I would recommend you save yours here too. And that's all I wanted to say about the logos folder. I'm also going to be overriding this because I already have it as a spray. So, I'm going to hit save. And there. All you have to do is select it from your multiplayer options in game, and you're good. Um, the second part of this tutorial is to get an animated spray to work. And uh, for that, we're going to need another program called GIF Splitter. Download link again is in the description, and when you install it you're gonna, and start it up, you're going to have this. Um, before I get started, I also want to point out that the one I'm going to be showing you is not going to work because the GIF file that I'm going to select is uh, over 120 kilobytes. Um, if it is over 120 kilobytes, it's just not going to work in game. You can see this thing's like 72 frames right here. Um, so uh, you need a small .gif image. Under 120 kilobytes, it'll be fine. And uh, then, after you select it in this top options bar, in this bottom one, you go to the output directory, which is where it's going to copy every frame into its own unique picture file. I'm going to where I want it saved right now and then you just hit split now and it's going to split every frame into its own unique picture file right now just give it a second then you go to when it says state idle you're done with gif splitter and you open vtf edit again and you go to file import and then you're going to go to wherever the output folder was you selected. I'm going to mine now. And you're going to see that it has all these image files, one for each frame of the uh, GIF file. You're going to select all of them. In this case, there's 72 because it has 72 frames. Again, it's too big. You need to use a smaller one if you want it to actually work. And then you're going to come up to this dialog box again. And the only thing you really need to check for an animated spray is to make sure the resize method is to the nearest power of 2. And you also need to make sure the maximum width and maximum height is 256 by 256. That's usually a good size. So hit OK. Animated sprays take longer to come up than uh, regular image files. It might do this where it says not responding, but um, it's actually just working. So give it a second. And uh, this is a larger... Uh, GIF image, so it is taking a, a little bit longer, but uh, you just gotta wait for a couple seconds.
and it'll pop up right here as a still frame and you can hit this play button and when it plays it's going to play it a lot faster here than it will appear in game so hit stop and then you go to file save as and again you're going to be saving it as a vtf file again you can save it in your logos folder and select it just like a normal spray um, i'm not going to save this one because as i said it's not going to work it's too big um, make sure it's under 120 kilobytes and just go through the same process and it'll work and that guys is my entire new and revised spray tutorial uh, this will work for any Source Engine game like Left 4 Dead 1, Left 4 Dead 2, Counter-Strike Source, and Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Um, somebody commented saying that it didn't work for Gary's Mod on my first version of this tutorial. I don't use Gary's Mod, um, so I don't uh, have any clue why it would or would not work, but um, you're welcome to try, but I can't really provide any help on the matter. So uh, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'm really, uh, and I thank you for watching. So. Um, have a good one, guys.